Hello there, and welcome to lesson one on this video series on musical electronics for Arduino, created for the students at Saturday Academy. My name is Will Patillo, I'm the instructor for this course, and for today's lesson we're going to be starting fairly simple and uh, just building a simple uh, light switch circuit where you press a button and a light turns on. Um, however, we're going to be using Arduino so that the input is separated from the output and uh, in later lessons we'll be able to use the same circuit design and basic structure to create much more interesting things. So you can just think of this as a uh, foundational lesson to support uh, later things. This lesson assumes that you already have a basic knowledge of uh, how electronics work and how to go from a schematic to an actual uh, breadboarded um, wired up circuit. If you are not there yet, uh, I have some uh, instructions in a PDF that is linked to uh, via a GitHub uh, that's in the description below, uh, or you can also find it by uh, bringing up a search engine, typing in will9371 and GitHub, and here it is, this top hit right here. I go to this and to repositories and look for SA underscore Arduino. Uh, there it is, and then you can just click on this instructions uh, PDF, and uh, then that will have a bunch of stuff, a background material on how electricity works, how uh, breadboards work, and then just some other notes on how to, uh, what the Arduino is for and, and how to use it. So that, that's just some of our assumed uh, background material uh, that if you're totally new to this, I would recommend going through prior to uh, going through this video. If you already know that stuff, then you can skip it and just try to uh, follow along from here. Uh, so before I get into the code, I'll take a little look at what this, how this circuit works and so that we know what to expect from it. Um, so this Arduino component represents this Arduino Uno. 4 right here represents this uh, 4 pin. This 12 represents this 12 pin. 5 volts rep represents this uh, 5 volt pin. I think there's this one. And then ground, uh, which would be either one of these. Uh, you could also use this one, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Uh, which pins we're using is not super important, that actually just gets defined in code. So if you want to use 5 or 6, um, that'll work fine. Um, these particular pins I'm using, I, I am not using the ones with the little uh, tilde signs. Uh, these are things that support pulse width modulation because that's not needed in uh, this circuit of just like a button press. Uh, and an LED. And then finally, this external supply, uh, this can be this battery over here, so you just connect a battery to the, this bit and so that the Arduino uh, has a power source, uh, which will then use to supply this power source, this, this five, volt, 5 volts over here, and it'll have somewhere to send this ground energy. Uh, and then, or it can also uh, just plug into your computer via USB uh, under this port over here. So either of those can function uh, as your external supply uh, and whatever it's connected to is what this component refers to. So next, uh, if we take a look at this output channel and what's going on right here. So the Arduino will have uh, a channel where it's able to send a, a high or a low signal. So a high will be like five volts, low will be zero. And uh, if five volts is being sent out here, that will cause It'll send a current to flow through this circuit right here, from here along here over to ground, and it's going to follow the path of least path of least resistance. So once it's gotten past this resistor, uh, it'll just go straight to ground and will ignore this section. This resistor here on this path is uh, current limiting, uh, so we don't have effectively a short circuit from this output over to ground, uh, which could damage the device, uh, and also make it also ensures that we have a controlled amount of current uh, going through here. And then this LED right here uh, is what actually lights up. So when we have 5 volts, LED lights up, and then the rest of the current gets drained out. Uh, and when the output is uh, 0 volts, the LED will turn off. Okay, so that's it for the output channel. Now as for the input channel, this one's a little bit more complicated. Uh, so right now we have our 5 volts going along here, along this path. And then if the button is not pressed, then it just stops right there. And so this will be at zero volts. So this 
input will receive a logic low, which it can then the Arduino can then uh, use for whatever processing it has. If the but when the button is pressed, then the five volts here is now connected to this input, and this resistor will prevent that from short circuiting to ground. So this five volts will go to the input right here, and this will receive a logic high, uh, which the Arduino can then uh, process and do whatever you want with that information. When the button is released again, then the residual voltage that's just hanging out here uh, will drain out through the resistor and go to ground. Uh, next, let's get into the code, which is the stuff that actually happens in here, which connects the input to the output. Uh, so I'll start by opening up Arduino. And uh, I'm not going to download and create anything new. And I'll just create a new sketch. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and save this right now. Uh, you can save it where, wherever you like. I'm gonna just going to put this straight into my GitHub page. You can save it locally wherever you like. All right, once it's saved, I have my sketch. Uh, now I go through my code here. So there's a couple of built-in functions uh, set up. This is just things that runs once right when the application starts and uh, loop this is run uh, continuously basically as fast as Arduino is able to run. So I'm going to start this code here by uh, defining some constants. So type in a little hashtag define and I'll call it uh, button and I'll call it pin 4 and then define LED 12. So this just defines uh, some constants. Since I'm going to be referring to pins 4 and 12, uh, those numbers don't intrinsically mean anything intuitive. Uh, so rather than, you know, when I check, for example, when I want to uh, read input 4, instead of saying read 4, I'll say read button. Um, and then when I want to turn an LED, LED on and off, that is to uh, push a logic high or low into channel 12, rather than saying 12, I can say LED. That way, it'll make the program a lot more uh, clear as to um, what's happening. So that's, uh, so that's our defined statements up here. Now, uh, next in setup, I'm going to uh, actually define these pins. So type in pin mode and type in button and input. So what this line does is that it tells the Arduino as soon as it starts up that pin 4, that's uh, this one right here, is going to be used as an input. So expect to be able to read uh, voltage signals on this pin. Well, that's what this line does. And uh, next I'm going to define, create my output pin by uh, typing in pin mode LED and output. And this line here, kind of like, like this line, will now will tell the Arduino on startup that this pin right here is going to be used as an output. So one other thing I'm going to add, and this is just an important bit of boilerplate to include in pretty much every project you're going to work with, is uh, serial.begin9600. And what this line does it, uh, is allows you to use the serial monitor, which is extremely helpful for, for uh, debugging, and we'll uh, see that you know, in a little bit. So next thing I'm going to have a, in my loop statement, this is where I'm going to put my logic. Uh, and this, this will be for our, uh, our actual light switch code is going to go here. But rather than actually putting the light switch logic right here, I'm just going to call a method. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, light switch. Or I'll actually call it simple light switch. And uh, just leave it like that. And then uh, in a separate method, so type in void simple light switch. And then have a open and close brackets with some space in between. The, the loop, this will run as fast as the Arduino can, and each time it goes through this loop, then it just delegates down to this function right here. So now in my simple light switch, which again, this is going to be called uh, as fast as possible, I type in if 
digital read all caps button equals equals high then open and close brace and for now I'll just say serial dot print line light on close quote close parenthesis and semicolon then over here else and open and close curly brace serial dot print line light off off okay and that's all we're going to use for now um, so this will right now um, this will look at the voltage level of pin 4 and if that is at a high voltage so this is just a built-in constant so you know roughly 5 volts or so uh, then it will print to our serial monitor uh, this text right here light on and if what this is reading is not high that is if it's low because those are really the only two states uh, on a digital input pin then it will instead print this text right here light off uh, so let's see if that works so far so I'm gonna click verify to make sure there are no compiler errors and once this runs and it looks fine no errors uh, if you get errors uh, just read the text of them and uh, fix them uh, feel free to ask questions in the comments if you get stuck or uh, this code will also be uploaded to the github page once I'm done so you can also compare with that uh, so now I'm going to uh, upload this to my Arduino which is plugged in via USB uh, upload this and once it's done it's actually running right now on my Arduino and I can see the results by clicking the serial monitor button and right here I can see yes light off and it's just printing this uh, very quickly now if I press the button that is in my electronic device it switches to light on open up the button light off on off so great it is working as expected now to actually turn on the light you know to make use of this uh, I, I can write uh, digital write and caps LED and high and then for the else statement I just copy this line put it below LED low and uh, that should be it uh, also now that I know that the logic's working I can comment out these serial print lines so it won't be uh, wasting resources to print stuff to a console and save this uh, verify actually verifying will automatically uh, or uploading will automatically verify and now you can't see it but my light is turning on and off when I press the button and that's because of these digital write lines this will uh, tell pin 12 because that's, that's what this LED is defined as uh, and it will output a high voltage at that pin and this one will output a low voltage uh, at that same pin uh, based on whether the button is reading a high or not now you might be wondering at this point well what is the point of going through all this work and you know having all these extra connections when I could have done this without an Arduino at all and uh, the answer to that is now we have our inputs separated from our outputs the Arduino is able to just read the input and output and we could put we could basically we could switch this function out for anything as complex as we like until next time thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one